So, I was thinking about Christmas and how originally it was a pagan holiday. Well, it still is, but we'll ignore that. And I got the idea, you know, why don't we make more, even more fun holidays borrowed from the pagans and say that it has something to do with Jesus. I mean, why not? So, out of the blue, I just googled witches holiday and April 30th, which is not, or Walpurgis not, I don't know how to pronounce that, actually came up and it's like a second Halloween. And I thought, you know, that sounds like we could really make a good holiday out of that and say, you know, even though I'm not a witch, you know, I could, I could do it for Jesus and adopt these traditions and see if I can somehow make, make it work with my faith. And so, let me see, let me Google what they do on this night. It's on April 30th, so I'm going to mark that on my calendar. And so I'm sure I'll have to go out and buy a bunch of goodies and to make it a festive a festive day. Maybe we'll make a feast. I think there might even be some fireworks and things like that involved. Now, of course, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the history of this. I'm just going to gather some of the bells and whistles here and then do it for Jesus. Like... The fireworks, Jesus is the light of the world, so on April 30th, maybe I'll put on a witch's costume, just because it's fun, you know, and and celebrate my God in the way the witches do their little things for whatever they do it for. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That makes a lot of sense. Um, Heck, I might even buy a cauldron and make some soup and add some sparkles or something so it'll be even cuter. Why not? Oh my goodness, these look like some evil pictures, but um, I'm sure I could make it work somehow. Like, for instance, let's say a pentagram or something like that is involved, which it may not be. But if it was, it's like God made stars and, and circles. And even if it's red, you know, nothing but the blood of Jesus, right? Jesus was the bright morning star, so we can use all these things in his honor. And it only makes sense to turn all these wicked things around and use them on the same days where all these pagans do their festivities and throughout history and it all originated in Babylon. And I don't know where this witches festival originated, but... It doesn't really matter, just as long as I do it for Christ. And if anybody were to confront me about that, obviously they're a curmudgeon and a Pharisee, and they just don't understand what freedom in Christ means. I mean, nobody should be judging somebody else on how they worship Christ on any given day. How far can we take that? I mean, I don't see the big deal here. But if anybody wants to join me in this movement here, where we turn this witch's day into something for Christ, let me know. And maybe we could start like a group or something. Thank you so 